Hello everyone watching on YouTube and welcome back to more Tales of Fantasia. I'm not clicked into my legitimate PlayStation 8, which can play PlayStation 1 games. Continue! Slot 1, load this bad boy up. Last we left off, we were uh, struggling through the Maria mine a little bit, which I was then told that most people that play this game don't like the mine, so that made me feel better. But now we're back here. I don't think we have any skips. Next stop is the Maria mine. They should let us- yeah, yeah, we've seen that before. But we took a break from Maria Mine because it was driving me crazy so that we could come here to try and make a pact with Undine. So here we are in the eroded grotto and we went through this a little bit and lay, uh, lowered some water. So I think now we can go over here. This used to be submerged, but now it's not. Squids. Do you think they are also kids? It doesn't matter, I'll murder them either way. Oh, Thunderblade, that's right, the most broken move of all time. Thunderblade is so insanely strong in this game. Sylph, the most interrupting move of any game ever. Are these some bulky squids, what the heck? Get absolutely destroyed. Annihilated, let's go. Ah, uh, easy level up on Arch. What level is everyone right now? I should check. How are we doing on levels? I got a, ooh, 22 and 21 on everyone. Almost 22 on Clarth. Not too far from a level up on Crescent Mint either. Okay. Well, Mint actually still has a way to go. Arch just leveled up and she has 3,000 more to go, so that's actually pretty high. I thought that they would need more experience for level ups as of now, other than just like 3k. Not bad, not bad. This was all for a chest and something on that, uh, a rune bottle. So I actually had some comments on YouTube. I don't remember the commenter's name. I should have checked before stream. But I had some comments on YouTube that were telling me, like, hey, those question mark things you get, you can, like, use a rune bottle on them, and it'll make it into some, it'll, like, show what kind of weapon it is and all that. And sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not, etc., etc. But that's what you do with question mark stuff, is you use rune bottles on them. What is this? Push the switch? Absolutely. No idea what that just did. Also, apparently, there are some other spells that we can teach Arch by going back to towns we've already been to. I'm not gonna worry too much about that. If we end up going back towards those towns and finding the people who can teach her more spells, awesome. If not, then we'll, we'll manage with what we have for the moment. As annoying as the, uh... the time-freezing spells and summons can get sometimes in this game, I do love when they get a freeze right when I'm in the middle of, like, some sick art attack or something that catches me in some cinematic mid-air swing. Super dead. Yo, let me buy you. I got this. I got this. Oh, Thunderblade will probably kill him. Yeah, what a shock. Yo, AJ, what's up, dude? We won! Getting a lot of experience from these fights. Still mystified as to how killing a squid gives me octopus. Where do we go from here? Mm, okay, more submerged area. All right. So I need to try and remember this spot. If we can get the water to lower, we want to come way back here. This is like back left area. Oh my word, so many sea slugs. Yo, let me get them all on screen and then just like thunderblade them, please. All right, that's not thunderblade, that's silk. I cannot wait for you to have Lundine. I just want you to have something new. If you're gonna be interrupting the gameplay so much, can you at least like mix it up a little? It would mean a lot to me. That's what I want to see. Oh my word. Pentakill. 78 experience. What a waste of my time. Shouldn't have even bothered. Okay. Huh, I can't open it. I was hoping hitting that switch meant that that weird looking door would open. Which way do we go now, I wonder? All right, squids are worth it. They give like 300 experience or something. It was like two or 300, I don't remember. Thunderblade! I can't wait until we can start buying pineapple gels. The things that recover like 60% MP. I feel like that will go so much better for long-term dungeons if I can, like, just spend... Because we get so much money from these fights. I wouldn't mind spending the money to, like, stock up on pineapple gels so that we can have 
less trouble in dungeons. I feel like stocking up on orange gels isn't as worth it. Flip the lever, Kronk! I pushed that up. Did that raise water or lower it? It lowered this water, okay. So where does this go now? Oh, is there something to our left? There must be another squid. Die. I get like 10 TP back after every fight, so if I only use like one or two lightning tiger blades, I keep a pretty good amount of TP stored up over time. Arch and Clark just burn through their TP though. There's nothing to be done for them. Hello. Good heal, good heal. Good fireball. Somewhat unnecessary sylph, but it's fine. All right, so each octopus is worth a little less than 100 experience, because three of them gave us just shy of 300 there. For how easy they are to kill, that's pretty good. Okay, hello, we're somewhere new. Still some water levels that need to be lowered to get to things. Oh my goodness, this squid has starfish with him. All right, this is a Thunderblade moment. Those are fireballs. I'd prefer an early Thunderblade to kill the starfish like really quick and then we can all focus on the squid. Is that squid trying to run away? Yo, you ain't getting away from me. You ain't leaving here alive, buddy. Archer, you even gonna like- Oh, I still have them set to stay, whoops. I was like, why aren't they getting over here and like murdering stuff with me? What's going on here? That was- that was my B on Arch not getting off a Thunderblade against the starfish. I don't think that she was gonna cast unless she was closer. Please die before another Sylph. Thank you. Yata! Yo, some mackerel! Okay, that looks like steps to go further down right there. So does that. Let's get this chest and then do I want to go straight back or do I want to go down? Decisions, decisions. Try and kill this starfish real, real quick and then we can go take on the others over there. Die, starfish. Good fireball, good fireball. Go away, you little freak. There we go, there we go. Hey guys, let me handle that. What's the what's the squid doing all the way back there? Oh, perfect Thunderblade timing. Let's go. Now we kill this stupid squid. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Zoof. Die. Did I get that heal? Please tell me that heal went through. It did. Let's go. Yo, Kaizen, what's up, dude? You have not missed anything other than us going through some of this flooded grotto. We just started like 10 minutes ago. Do you like random battles? What do you mean by random battles? You mean like in this game? Like when you just walk around and you run into enemies? I mean, not really a good way to do this kind of a game like that otherwise. Wonder if that lowered the water to my right. I mean, I prefer in the newer age games where you see the enemies and you can run into them instead of it just, like, happening by chance and all. But on an older game like this, you don't really have an option. So, like, I prefer when the enemies are, like, on screen and you can see them coming and, like, engage them and stuff. However, I don't dislike the way they do it in this game because, I mean, that's, you know, I don't think it's bad. It's not as good as the other option, but I don't think it's, uh, I don't dislike it. Do I even want to bother trying to kill two starfish? I mean, I have to kill one of them to be able to get past it to be able to leave. So I guess I this is unnecessary. And she just used a thunder blade on one, so I guess I may as well kill them both. Yeah, we only have Sylph right now. We're gonna get Undine here, and then we're gonna get uh, we're probably gonna go and get a Freet as well after this. And then I think we I think the game told us where Gnome is. I don't remember exactly, but. I'm pretty sure the game told us where Gnome is, but I think Chad told me Gnome was, like, the hardest one to go for. Like, he's pretty high-leveled. So we're probably going to leave Gnome. Hello there, Lever. Pull the Lever, Kronk! 
Oh, I raised the water behind me. Okay. But uh, we're probably going to leave Gnome for now. Pull the lever again, Kronk. What's the purpose in this lever? I can't... I can't have this one flipped and also get out of here. Well, I flipped the other one, so let's hope that did something. Interesting that the save point is right here in a dead-end room with just levers. Wonder if I'm missing something. Hello, this is quite a smorgasbord of enemies we have here. Ow. I hate the stupid little sea slugs. Yeah, take that, suckers. Didn't expect a move that wasn't Lightning Tiger Blade, did ya? Alright, you're probably dead. Yep, goodbye. And then it was just these fools. Behold, Sword Rain Alpha! Oh, Thunderblade, goodbye. Yeah, it did kill all three of them. Nice. Yo, 300 experience. We take those. Should be getting close to a level up on Cress any second now. Another fight or two. Don't really know how well we are or are not doing with level balancing. Hey, thanks for the tuna, dude. So now we can go down here and there's another switch to flip. Oh. Okay. I wonder if that affected that door way back here. That would be my first guess. There's like back around here and to the right a little bit. Go away. Hey, I should do a top 10 best versions of the four elemental spirits within video games. Feel like that list would uh, not even have 10 options to be put on it. Especially given the amount of games I've... Maybe if I had played every Tales of game, there would be. Because let me see. They're in this game, Symphonia. They're in Vesperia. I don't think the spirits were in Abyss, were they? I don't remember the spirits being in Abyss. Uh, they're in Zillia and Zillia 2, but they're the same between them, so it's not like there'd be any difference between Zillia and Zillia 2's options. Uh, I don't think they're in Graces? It's been a- I need to play Graces again. A Redux playthrough of Graces is the next Tales of playthrough on the list, because I just do not remember Graces well enough. But I don't think they were in Graces. They weren't in Zestaria. I don't think they were in Berseria. Like, I think I've played more Tales of games without the spirits than I have with, or it's about a 50-50. All right, where was that door? It was over past this bridge. Can I open it now? Fine, we'll find out after this commercial break. I love Graces, can't wait for that playthrough. Yeah, I believe it's your, it's your favorite, isn't it, Nova? I don't know if it still is your uh, profile picture in Discord, but I, I remember it being your profile picture in Discord, wasn't it? Or maybe that was your Twitter profile picture. It was like a picture of Asbel. Yeah, not in Abyss or Graces, definitely. I remember really liking Graces. I didn't like it as much as Zillia, but I played it and Zillia practically at the same time. Nice double hit. Arch is starting to get low on TP. What else is new? Man, three Thunderblades for one fight, huh? Seems a little overkill. Arise versions of the spirits were like really, they were like Titanic and awesome for the most part. Gnomes was kind of met, and Undine got done dirty, but Afrit and Sylph, like, Sylph's design was, like, amazing. It didn't really match any previous Sylph's, though. What if I pull this down? Yeah, I remember, uh, Grace's is, it's up there for me. It's definitely one of the better Tales of games, IML. I really need to play it again to submit my opinion on it, but based off of the memory I have of enjoying it, I'm pretty sure I had Tales of Graces, like, fifth or sixth out of the, like, nine Tales of games I've played? I'm at nine Tales of games now, right? Not counting Fantasia, which we're playing right now. I've played Symphonia, Abyss, Vesperia, Graces, Zillia, Zillia 2, Zestaria, Berseria, and Arise. Yes, exactly nine. This is my tenth Tales of playthrough. So I only have seven more la mainline games after this, huh? For some reason, I thought I had so many more mainline games to go, but after this one, we've only got seven more. How about that? Still can't open that, huh? 
What am I missing? Maybe there's another switch somewhere I haven't hit yet. Well, now I can't go that way because I flipped that lever back. What's back this way? But I'm trying to think. Again, I need to play. That's why I want to play... Uh, I really want to play Graces again to refresh myself on it and really, like, definitively know where I rank it. But games that I like... Tales of games that I like more than Graces. Zillia, Abyss, Arise, because those are my top three. I actually like Arise more than Abyss now, to be honest. Probably need to play Abyss again, to be real with you, because I've only played it the once. But that's, uh, that's a Redux playthrough that can wait a little while. Graces is more important. Let me see here. Zillia, Arise, Abyss, Berseria. Graces is actually probably fifth. I think I definitely like Graces more than Zesteria and Vesperia, because I really don't like either of those two. Uh, I think I like it more than Symphonia. Symphonia is another one I haven't played in a long while, and I need to play again. Uh, and Zillia 2, Zillia 2 would probably be right after Graces. I like Zillia 2 because it has all my favorite casts from Zillia, but Zillia 2, I feel like, made a lot of mistakes narratively and with, like, Luger and L compared to the first Zillia that made me like it significantly less. That was the way I came in. That's a switch that I clicked. What am I missing here? I remember when you finished Berseria, you said Graces might have been third or fourth, but I'm sure Rise changes things now. Did I play Berseria before Abyss? Definitely until Arise came out, my top three were Zillia. Zillia has always been my favorite. That hasn't changed. Uh, Arise has taken second place from Abyss, and then Berseria was third. So basically, I think Graces was fourth. I think it used to be my number one was Zillia. After Zillia, it was Abyss, then Berseria, then Graces. But then Arise came out, and Arise usurped Abyss. So now it's Zillia, Arise, Abyss, Berseria. And then Graces gets moved down to fifth as a result. So yeah, right now, right now, Graces would be my fifth favorite Tales of game, if someone asked. So I really need to play it again to really cement that and be like, yes, as I remembered, this game is very good, definitely deserving of fifth place. Which, hey, fifth, fifth uh, favorite game from a franchise with 17 games? It's nothing, uh, nothing too shoddy. It's pretty great, especially a series of games that I enjoy so much. Because, I mean, really, the only Tales of games that I've played that I've, like, actively disliked are Vesperia and Zestaria. Every other Tales game I've enjoyed. It's really just Vesperia and Zestaria that I've been like, hey, this was, uh, kind of whack. Big 52 gold and 52 experience. So what's this way? Does this lead anywhere new? It's gotta lead somewhere. What? That's the door I've been trying to go in. Okay, so that just, huh. I bet last time we streamed when I went in here for a little bit, I remember getting locked in here and having to like go around to get out. I probably, you probably go around there to get to the switch at the bottom left here to proceed by lowering the water. Okay, I understand now. So, wherever I need to go is back the other way. Which way, though? Need to be using arts a little bit more. I think I'm at, like, max TP right now. Yo, someone talking about top 10 lists earlier? That's what I really need to do. I need to finish every Tales of game, and then rank all of the Tales of games. Like, do a big video on that. If they could come out with the 18th Tales of game by the time I finish all of the mainline games I haven't played yet, then I could do, like, a, a bottom nine and a top nine. That'd work out pretty well. Even better if they could release 20, I could just do a bottom 10, top 10, but... I doubt we'll get to the 20th Tales of game for uh, quite a while. Oh my word. Mid-air lightning sylph. We call that the storm combo. Get wrecked. Yo, calm down, calm down. It ain't that serious, brother. Die. I said die, sir. Thank you. 